Hello, as my hair is still in the process of drying, you're gonna have to ignore the way it looks. I have a few things I want to talk about. First of all, rainbows. I may have already done a video on this because it wouldn't surprise me, but the other day I was driving with my father and it was raining and then suddenly the sun came through and we were both like, there must be a rainbow somewhere. And we couldn't see it and couldn't see it. And then I thought, what about if I checked the rear view mirror? And there it was a beautiful rainbow. And I love rainbows. Back in Holland, they were much less common than here. Here, for some reason, I just see a rainbow once every week, maybe. Maybe once every two weeks, but it's just much more common. But in Holland, I don't know why, but I just felt like it was so rare. And so for me, seeing a rainbow has always been something a little bit magical. Especially as a child, you're always told all the stories and we used to read those fairy books with the rainbow fairies. So whenever I see a rainbow, it just brings me a lot of joy. And of course, being here, I have a much higher chance of seeing rainbows. But despite that, I still love it so much. And despite having lived here for goodness knows how many years, it still brings me a lot of joy. So I just wanted to share that because I love rainbows. I also, I don't even know when, but once upon a time did a video of just all these pictures I've taken of pretty views. And I think there were a whole bunch of rainbows in that. So if I can find it, I will link it up here. Okay, so one of the notes I've got written on my phone is that someone called Nicole Raquel Dennis, who is an actress, I think in the West End, posted something a little while ago about like allowing yourself a 10 minute mental debrief just every day because of everything that's going on in the world at the moment. And first of all, just reading that note, in my head, I'm doubting whether her name was actually Raquel because it just feels really unlikely, but it's probably true. But second of all, I commented on that saying, that's sort of what YouTube is for me. Very often it is, especially in this time, just a way to get my thoughts out and have a mental debrief with myself and you guys, I guess. But it is just one of those things that feels really, really nice to do. And another thing, which I cannot believe I've been failing to mention because I've been wanting to talk about this for at least a week now, if not more. Well, pretty much since the day it was announced. There have been rumors flying around that I think the producer of Mamma Mia is saying, hinting at a third Mamma Mia movie. Now, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned multiple times how much I would love to be in that Mamma Mia movie and how much I'd love for them to do a third one just so I could be in it. So, hey, I am more than happy to be the person in the back peeling potatoes is doing absolutely nothing but please let me audition ding but even aside from that i can't wait i know it's all just a rumor and very up in the air but if it happens Oh boy, I'm excited. Now I've got two more things on my list, but they're each individual videos. So I think I'm going to leave those for the next few days. So that's it from me for today. Bye.